Hey, good Friday morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. Welcome to the MLive Morning Weather Update. We are painted with an area of possible severe weather um, this afternoon, this evening. I feel like it should be a little bit farther north and a little bit less in the south. Let's get to it and sort out all the uh, storm action for you and uh, say good morning to some folks. So here we go. Good morning, Larry Pusker from Freeland and Beth Heal Gladwin. So this is the overall uh, chance of severe weather. And, you know, we've always used the word slight risk. And we found that well, people said, oh, slight, no big deal. And it is on the lower end, but it's still a risk. Uh, so what we've gone to now is there's five levels of risk, marginal, slight, um, enhanced, moderate, and high. We call this uh, second level out of five levels. This is the tornado threat that the Storm Prediction Center is sticking with. And again, I would draw it maybe from, I would draw it about the northern third of lower Michigan and all of the eastern third of the UP uh, and mostly target the UP. On that, which is which is rare, and the folks from the Storm Prediction Center they do a great job, but they're not used to forecasting tornadoes uh, near Lake Superior and up across the UP. Here's the damaging wind threat, 15%, uh, and again that looks probably pretty good. I would shave a little off the south about 50 miles and get it out of the Saginaw area and maybe move it to the north up into the UP, and then the hail threat. And again, the is 15%, but that black hatched area is um, a 10% chance of two inch diameter hail or greater. So park the Tesla in the garage today. Hey, good morning, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Marlena Easel. Hopefully I got that right. Hopefully I had the emphasis on the right syllable. All right, so. Here is our radar forecast, and we'll sort out when the storms are coming for you. The main theme here is far southern Michigan. You're going to wait until tonight, tomorrow morning, for your first round of storms, and then you're going to get another renewed round of storms late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, and it will end by Sunday morning. Um, northern lower you're going to get thunderstorms late this afternoon, this evening, and those could possibly be severe. And then you may get another round overnight tonight, and then you would be done. So let's get into it. First off, the high resolution rapid refresh for today's storms. Uh, let's go to noon. And you got a good looking day in lower Michigan. Uh, TJ Brewer, how close to Flint is the tornado stuff? No, I don't think so. It's, it's, Pretty far north, Houghton Lake northward. Um, so this is Friday noon, today noon. One, two, three, four, five o'clock. So there you see, that's where the UP is getting hit with severe storms possible. And maybe northern lower, maybe maybe as far south as Houghton Lake or Cadillac and through Traverse City, definitely toward Mackinac Bridge. Uh, and uh, Holly is looking at the storms not till later tonight. So we go into 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, midnight, 1 a.m. And the next round of storms starting to develop. And those are aimed more at the south part of the state. Uh, Pamela Todorov, it's just rain around Pontiac. Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow morning. Thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. Those could be possibly severe based on instability. Now, so we look at various models because various models have strengths in different time frames. The high resolution rapid refresh, it's high resolution, it runs every hour, and so therefore it only goes at 18 hours. Then we jump to the NAM, the North American model, which does a good job 24, 36 hours out, and that's going to take us through the weekend with a good scenario. And it will look a little different on the storm. So this is still Friday afternoon. This is four o'clock. It wants to develop a severe line of storms coming on shore. 
Um, and sometimes it does pretty good. It takes that at six and seven and eight o'clock and moves it across the Tri City, Saginaw Bay City, Midland, the Northeast. Hey, good morning, Mike from Washington, Michigan. Uh, Tammy McFarland, the thumb. I don't think you'll be in the severe weather, but this is the kind of scenario where we have to watch how the first round of storms evolves to develop. Uh, the second round of storms. So we're in the middle of the night tonight, and the story here is then storms develop in the southern part of the state. And this one wants to kind of flare them down through the morning hours. This is noon tomorrow. And then as we go into the afternoon and evening tomorrow, and Saturday night and early Sunday morning, we're at 5 a.m. Sunday, another round of showers and thunderstorms probably with less oh sorry <laughs> you're looking at me thank you oh boy is it friday yet all right how far back do we have to go we have to go back uh to the nam i do believe so here is here is the nam and this is five o'clock tonight so again we just have to see how it evolves this afternoon okay And then this is overnight tonight and Saturday morning. So the NAM is faster with the cold front driving south. And every it's the only one that shows that, so I would not rely on that. And then we go to Saturday evening and Saturday overnight, and we ended at Sunday 5 a.m., and you could see that the last batch of showers and thunderstorms sweeping through so that it should be ending in the far southeast some point early Sunday morning. What time is the rain coming from Midland today, Ernie Sanders? I think you're going to wait quite a while. It may be 